guys, Stubby here, and today we're exploring our magical prowess. Let's go! guys we are back all right so a couple things one i had some moments last episode don't forget time in a bottle it works uh also i was looking for a hammer and i was thankfully reminded about the matic it does a five by five area so five wide five up and down so if you just go to the third block break it, you get a nice hole. So that's how I was doing a little bit of mining. Uh, mostly I was looking for more of that prosperity shard ore to get us going down the mystical agricultural quest line. Should have plenty of those. Supremium farland. Ho ho! We will use that for the uh Mystical Agricultural. Yeah, yeah, that stuff. And there you are. So, first thing we do, I want to work down some Batania with you guys. I want to work down uh, a little bit of Mystical, and I want to work down a little bit of Immersive. Where are you? Over here. Oh, that actually let me... Cool. Alright, so it's going to go like this, let's go. Is that not? <gasps> uh, no. Hmm. Oh, it's only four. Two, three, four. Two. So this stuff goes quickly. So four inferium makes one stack of prudentium, so four stacks of prudentium would make one stack of the next level, which I think was supremium. Tertium. Like that. See, that only made 16. And then we're going to make 16 of the imperium. There we go. 16 of those, 16 of those, and 16 of those. Look at that. All right, next thing we need to work through is the seeds to get to the master infusion crystal. Take some work. And the infusion altar. Uh, so the infusion altar is what you're gonna use to make uh, the different seeds that we're gonna run with. Uh, it'll take a prosperity seed base and specific item and a certain essence to go with it. So if you see looking through here the different things we can make. So there'll be quite a bit going going into this. Um, so we're going to want to make this and we're going to want to make eight of these altars. So in order to make these we need a lot uh, some gold running and lots of carpet. So it's like what is that 16 carpets? 17, 18, 19 carpet. 19 red carpet. Thank you. And I believe if we do it like this, the way to get red carpet the easiest, this would give us eight. This would give us three. Three, okay. So that we'll do one of each. We'll do both ways actually, it looks like. It would be the smartest way to do it. Uh, so we're going to need the red dye, which red dye, if I remember correctly, was tricky beetroot. Those. 
those. Mmm. What is going to be the fastest way to do that? One for one. Got it. And then two of those would be three, eight, seven, eight. Okay. Math is not working for me. But while I'm doing this, how's everybody doing today? I hope you guys are all having, <clears throat> excuse me, great days. Uh, that I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, one, oh, that would have saved a lot. Oh, that's what I was, I was like, there's a way to do it better. If I would have made the carpet first, then dye the carpet, it would have made it a lot. Okay. Right. Zoom, boom. Okay, 20. All right, we're gonna need some gold. We're going to need some stone and some stone. So hopefully we have enough. Just enough. Perfect. Perfect. And now we have our infusion altar. Now this one will actually give you a little bit of a display. Uh, when we put down the this one right here. Uh, so for the time being, we're just going to throw it right here. And you get this little ghost outline that shows you where to put these bases. Uh, and, you know, you want to do what it tells you. Boom. There you go. So we have the infusion altar. Uh, now that we have power and valuable crops, we'll need a massive quantities. It's a good time to expand our automation beyond potney pots. Look at the chapter 2 image. So this was talking about probably this one. If I'm looking at it, I'm not going to use the fertilizer. Yeah, it's got to be this one. Interesting. So we're not quite ready for that, so we're not going to check that, that one off yet. But we are going to work on our tier 1 seats. So we got dirt, stone, wood, water, fire, and earth. Uh, each one of these is you know, pretty what you would expect of it. Uh, so dirt is made with dirt, wood is made with wood, earth is made with earth agglomeration, I think it's earth fire... It's fire agglomeration, water agglomeration. That one should be dirt. This one should be stone. So I have the stone on me already. I have a seed base on me already. I think for the stone one, it will be inferium. Let's go grab some inferium. Oh, wrong button. So we'll come through, you basically follow the pattern. It'll go there, 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 there. Put some stone on these ones. And then I'm gonna put this in the off base. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> almost forgot, almost forgot. Cobble and a stick. Boom. The last step you do is you give it a redstone signal. Ta-da! So we'll let that run. We're going to go ahead and get our wood. We're going to get our dirt. And we're going to do this again. Boom. 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 Boom, 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 boom. Uh, 
Dirt. Dirt. Wait, which one was that one? That was one. Okay. Ooh, I got nervous. It was brown. Dirt. And now we have half of our tier one seeds. So the other half, we're going to need to make these agglomerations. Uh, or agglomeratio agglom. Agglomeratio. Uh, so this one is grass, gravel, dirt, and clay. So we'll need four of those. This one's a bucket of water, gravel, dirt, clay. This one's a bucket of lava, dirt, clay. Let's go ahead and clean up our inventory a little bit. Two buckets, we're going to need There we go, this one should be one, two, three, four And we need one, two, three, four Twelve of those Clay and gravel. And we said so earth was grass, so we're gonna need some bone meal and we're gonna need our shears. Put them up again. Ah, I need to remember to put all the stuff in one spot. These ones. I have iron shears somewhere. Plain sight. Okay, and I am clicking every button but the one I want tonight. Jeesh. Boom. Cool. This will give us enough to get the first two going. I'm gonna go ahead and throw. Don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you. Gold can be put back. So we're gonna want one, two, three, four. Clay. Those four. One. Two. Three. Four. And last but not least, we're going to run to our lovely little mining dimension because there just happens to be a lot of lava that I have not bothered to put into a tank. And this will get us our tier one seeds. Now, the tier one seeds aren't very crazy in and of themselves. They do give you the basic resources. You know, the water gives you water, the earth gives you dirt, so on and so on. Um, but we happen to have a lot of those already. The, the lava one, I think, will be the nicest one for us. And we're home. So we need that one, we'll need this one, and this one, this one, and back of those, and did I just grab, nope, let's take that one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, 
two. And the final tier one seed. There we go. Tier one seed's complete. And now we get another tier two, which is nature and coal. Then they're going to go tier three where they want us to do this. Iron and redstone. There's actually a lot more. So if you look at seed, um, like tier four, we got nickel, electrum, wither, skeleton, ice. So just the tier ones, you got, uh, what is it? Inferium, stone, dirt, wood, ice. Uh, those are tier two, tier three, tier four, so on. Um, so there's there's more seeds than they're asking for, but this is a good start. For now, I'm going to put you right here. Save keeping. I'm going to put that stuff back. And now we're going to talk about mystical agriculture. Or Batania. Yeah, we just did mystical agriculture. Batania, where did I put your stuff? Batania. Da, da, da. Where did I put it? Oh, right. <laughs> a whole nother. Oh, man, I need to do the storage. Okay, so I want specific flowers. And for the time being, we're going to do, let's say. What might look good? Maybe a cyan one. And. Uh, let's do a lime one. Let's see how those look, right? And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to like that cyan one. Let's try a green one. Orange one. One of those two will look good. Orange. Green. Okay. So. We have to make our wand staff thingy majigger for Batania. Now, I am personally a huge fan of Batania, and it's one of those mixed feeling mods. Uh, to me, it's a tech mod. It's listed as a magic mod, but when you get into it, everything you do is the same thing you do with machines. It just has a cool way to do it. So it's like a mystical tech in my opinion. So I treat it as a tech mod, and that's what makes me like it so much. Um, but you do do some cool, unusual stuff. Um, and it uses mana as its power source. So mana is the RF of Batania. Um, so we're going to dive into a little bit of it. We're going to try to go in as much explanation as I can. Uh, if I did miss something, feel free to you know leave a comment. I will gladly try to either show on, on here or at least explain what, what I missed or hop in the Discord. I'd be more than happy to talk. There's some other people in there talking, and we can figure stuff out. So I want cyan. Um, you get these two petals. See, they're both cyan, and it's these top two petals right here. I can change to orange. I could switch them around. Um, and this is where I'm just going to come in and look at... Okay, green's too dark. Lime. I think we're going to go with orange. And I think I want... Just like that. That's what we're going to do. There's my wand of the forest. So this is basically the wrench equivalent for Botania. We're going to make the endo flames. The endo flame is your basic mana generation. Uh, it is very simply, uh, so we're looking for very simply automated. So it should run out pretty easily for us. There will be a few things I'll need to craft. And essentially, if you look at the image, 
this is the exact way I tend to automate it myself. Um, you could get way more in depth, but this this is how I do it. I, the only difference I make is where this chest with full uh, full and that's you know you put your coal there, your charcoal there. I do a, a setup with uh, botanic or I mean bonsais, but hopping things those other things so we're gonna we're gonna set it up the way I like to do it we're gonna need to do the stack of those cuz I'm pretty sure put the rest away good good ah, well, we can do this one that one there's our pressure plate there's our furnace we're going to go need to get a stack of wood. I'm going to need to make a few chests. One, two. I think that should be enough. Two. One, two, three, and should look like that. So this is what we're going to use for our setup. I'm going to need a key. And one charcoal. Hey, look at charcoal. How convenient. That, and I'm going to do a drawer. There. Mm, that's right, I had to do this bigger than I normally do. So I do a drawer. I need to do more drawer. do more hoppers there you go a little over the top setup but it'll make our life easy do one two and one two all right so how do we get the end of flame end of flame end of flame same way we made our pure daisies, we're going to use brown, light gray, and red. Brown, brown, red, and light gray. Nice little stack. We'll go brown, 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 red, red, light gray, light gray. Brown, red, light gray. Just doing some quick duplication. for the shimmery spots so I know where the flowers are. Yep. 
fucking water. I think they wanted six. We'll probably just go ahead and go with seven for now. Right click on Oh, uh, so you guys, I'm through the petals in. I right clicked with the empty hand to repeat the recipe. If I didn't explain that last time, I wanted to make sure I covered that this time. And there's that. All right, so we got our seven end of flames. Thank you. And we're going to set this up. We'll just simply do it right here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to put my board right here. To craft a few more things. A mana pool. We're going to need a mana spreader. They're actually tests. That was nice and easy. Right. And for the time being, we're going to, you know what? Let's play smart. I think we have the resources. And a splitter. Nope, we need two mana steel ingots. So we will come back to that. Got to use all my living rock. I don't want to do it quite yet. Uh, but we'll go ahead and put it right here. And we're going to put the. Come on. There we go. And we're going to use our wand of the forest. We can make sure that if you place the flowers down after this is down, you see if I'm looking at it, it has a little X on it. If I place the flower down after that was there, and now I look at it with my wand, you see it's got a little check mark. there. Then we're going to have an open crate. Should look like that. Place you right here. I have a regular hopper which we're going to use. It's going to go right uh, actually, we're going to wait on the hopper. Use it so I can put the furnace is going to go down. But we're going to actually want to put the temporary. And then this will be the furnace. I'm going to feed into it with my hopper, my storage drawer that is going to be locked to oak planks, which I don't have. Planks. That'll feed into the furnace. I'm going to have this one feeding into the furnace. Another spruce. Like I said, I make this a little bigger than I need to, but it, I like the way I do this. So I'm probably just going to stick with it forever. Bag of holding. Do I not have? I'm going to need torches. Put a 
torch right here. Put oh. a lock on you. That in there. Pull that back out. And then we're going to put our trees, our bonsai, and dirt because I used it. Right here. Da da da! Now I'm doing another crazy little ladder because I was prepared. Boom, boom. That, that, and that. Now this isn't the fastest method, but it works. Um, it's not the most efficient, but it works. So what does this do? Uh, well, if I take one plant produces the logs to go for the top, one per, uh, which when you're using the furnace, it has three spots. The top is your top slot right here. The back feeds your bottom slot, which is your fill source. And then the third slot is your output underneath it. Break that. Break that. So you see? I use my wood. I was like, oh, it lit off already. That's so awesome. Hey. Let's go ahead and we'll grab a stack here. Stack there just because we can. Put you there. We'll put you there. All right, so this will burn. It'll drop down. It'll get picked up by an endo flame. Mana spreader, we need to point at the pool, which is shift right clicking. And now you see we have mana developing in there. Nice and easy. This is the simplest yet inefficient mana automation you can do. I'm sure there's better, uh, but this is what I've always done. It's what I'm probably always going to do. And it's essentially the same. Oh. 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 Uh -huh. Almost forgot a step. Ooh. Redstone. And we'll just go ahead and use logs for now. Do I have something cooler we can use? Use a living rock? That might look cool. Do that. Let's do a living rock there. That and that, and then we'll put our redstone. All right, forgot the redstone step. So what the redstone does is the redstone locks this hopper. So if there is a charcoal on this uh, pressure plate waiting to be picked up it won't let any more drop, so you kind of save your resources that way as you progress. So since I have excess available, do I have any more? The, yes, I do. Go ahead and put some in there. Hopefully this is enough to build a queue. And you see it'll stick around, it'll wait, the redstone's lit up. When it gets picked up by a flower, then it'll stop. Uh, these flowers don't take long enough for the item to actually despawn, so you don't lose anything. It just saves from multiples down. If multiples get dumped down, it will despawn. There we go. We have done our mana automation. So we're going to get ender pearls, diamonds, and iron ingots. Uh, the reason they're getting these ones, there's also a string. You put throw these into the mana pool, you get a mana version of that back. Block of coal, which is better. Now once we have some mana in the pool, we can infuse mana into some of our basic materials that we're going to use throughout crafting in Botania. So those eight items that we got. Uh, boom, boom. 
and now I've used all my mana. Um, the other thing I want to do, and I'm going to try to knock this out real quick before we hop off. I've got so much stuff in my inventory. Just put some of the stuff. I'm going to have to sort it out real soon. And I really need to get off my little booty and get our simple storage automation set up. Right, so we're going to go with one. That one's clear. One, two, there there. We're just going to move that one. And I'll need a pickaxe that I probably threw in some random area. Like right there. One of these. I'm going to make this mana spreader, and I need to make a mana tablet. So this mana splitter, uh, this will basically, we're going to change the direction of the uh, mana spreader. It's going to go to the splitter, and it'll fill up four of these. It'll evenly split the mana between four. So... Uh, they give us a mana tablet already, so let's just worry about doing that then. Let's go with eight of those, and... Oh, I need more mana. Come on, guys, you can do it. Now, I believe the range for these is actually more, so I believe I can make another row of these, but our design is not <laughs> going to produce enough <laughs> to support that. And we're going to sit and wait. So I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to let this finish, and I'll show you the final product before we get off for the day. So I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we are about to drop the last diamond in. I went ahead and made three more of these pools. And that should finish off this one. We're going to get the tablets. So I'm going to, with the wand in my hand, when you're looking at these, you can see that it says underneath the mana pool, it's got tablet to the pool. I'm going to shift and right click, and I'm going to put the pool to the tablet. That's going to suck everything up that's in the pool. See, it slowly, should slowly be draining. Oh, my man tab is full. That's why. I'm going to shift right click on this, and then I'm going to shift right click on that, and now I'm going to this. So now as this goes, this is going to evenly spread my mana across three pools. Now you can, there's multiple ways to expand this even further. Uh, the simplest way is more mana spreaders. I put a mana spreader on each of these. They could go to four more sets of these um, and further divide down. Uh, there Or there's a later step you can use uh, using these sparks um, with uh, it's dispersive and dominant I believe uh, you put these basically these traits on it and you'll feed the dispersive one or dominant one I have to remember on how to do that one honestly <laughs> I don't want to say you wrong but you'll feed the one sparked one and it will evenly distribute across every other spark in its grouping but there we go we have mana Slowly building up, and we have a full mana tablet. So we have mana in the pool, we can infuse mana into the basic materials, and now we're ready to start crafting. So the next thing we're going to make is a runic altar. This is where we're going to make the runes. Um, imagine you're preparing for the nether by infusing, okay, so on and so on. So that is that. And then the blast furnace, we'll, we'll start off with that on the next episode. It is past that time. So hey guys, I really appreciate y'all stopping by. Thanks for watching. Ow, no bad bush. Uh, and really, honestly, thanks for all the comments in the chat where I've been forgetting stuff and the people that are dropping in the Discord and saying hi. It's it's great. It's nice having you there. And all the, the subscribers that have uh, been amazing. So you guys have all been awesome. Really appreciate everything. And I really love the feedback. So look forward to seeing you guys next time. Until then, stubby out.